As we do with these collaborations, we like to bring you makeup looks with a theme. And we're going to talk about epilepsy. So let's talk about it. But before we get into it, I love for you to take a look at the lovely ladies who are participating in this collaboration. This is a collaboration, again, about epilepsy, a very serious topic. And you may be asking, why am I in purple? That's the color that represents epilepsy. So let's talk about it. Essentially, epilepsy is a condition that affects the brain. It is a disease of the brain. When someone has epilepsy, it means that they have a tendency to have an epileptic seizure. Anyone can have a one-off seizure, but this doesn't mean they have epilepsy. Epilepsy can actually start at any age, but it's most common to start in childhood or when someone is over 60 years of age. And there are many different types of epilepsy. So let's look at the types. There are four types of epilepsies. The first one is tonic. This is when the muscles become stiff. The second is atonic, when the body muscles relax. Myoclonic is short jerking in parts of the body. Clonic, the last, is periods of shaking or jerking on the body. Now you may have guessed that tonic is the most serious type or you may know it as grand mal seizures. These type of seizures can cause sudden loss of consciousness, bladder loss, and you can even bite your tongue. Now you might be curious or asking, what do you do in the event that someone has a seizure? First of all, learn seizure first aid. But for right now, know that you stay with the person and start timing the seizure. Remain calm and check to see if they have a medical ID. Also, keep the person safe. Remove or guide them away from any harmful objects. You want to turn the person onto their side if they are not awake and aware. Don't block their airway. Put something small like a pillow or something under their head and loosen any tight clothes around their neck. Do not, and I repeat, do not put anything in their mouth. Don't give water, pills, or food until the person is awake. And please do not restrain them. And you want to stay with them until they are awake and alert after the seizure. Most seizures only last a few minutes. Now you may want to call 911 if the seizure lasts more than five minutes, or if they have repeated seizures, if they have difficulty breathing, or if the seizure occurs in water, if you know the person is also diabetic, you wanna call 911. If the person is injured, pregnant, or sick. And first time having a seizure, you definitely want to call 911. Also, if the person does not return to their usual state, you definitely wanna call 911. It's important to talk about epilepsy because it affects a lot of people. More than 3.4 million people in the U.S. and 65 million people around the world have epilepsy. It is very common and it is likely that in your lifetime you will meet someone who has epilepsy. Parents should let their children know they have it. Children should let their friends know, and adults should let people in their workplace know, their friends as well, because knowing is powerful. And the new knowledge that is available makes it understandable for everyone. No one should be afraid, but we should be informed and helpful. 
It is believed that Harriet Tubman had epilepsy as well as Prince. No one should live in the shadows if they suffer from epilepsy. It is important that we have this conversation, that we talk about it, so that we can be of help to them and to help them have a normal life as much as possible. The more we know, the more we can help. A personal story and my first experience with epilepsy was when I was in college, my first year. And um, on the floor of the dorm where I lived, we all had individual rooms. One of the young ladies had epilepsy. Her name was Joan. Joan was kind of off to herself, but we all talked amongst you know each other there. And Joan's room always smelled like coffee. She had paint everywhere. She loved to paint, and I think that relaxed her. She had two episodes that I can remember. One was in the shower, and one was at the lunch table. And each time, we tried to make sure she was comfortable, but we put something in her mouth so that she wouldn't bite herself. We now know that that is not the thing to do. But at the time, in the 70s, that's just what we did. I share that with you because I want you to be prepared in the event that someone has a seizure and you're with them. Alrighty, as I finish up this look, I am going to uh, just do a few more things here like applying this lip gloss from Lurella. And I hope you enjoyed the products and seeing me use the products. And if you have any questions about what I'm using, you know, post them down below. I'll make sure I tell you what I'm using if you couldn't see. This was fun getting ready in this beautiful purple color. And it was very informative. And for myself, I learned a lot. Um, as a healthcare provider, we're not often trained specifically on how to treat each condition, but we do learn first aid. So this was very helpful to me because it gave me an up close and personal understanding of epilepsy. Thank you as always for tuning in to our videos. This was a very serious topic. I hope you enjoyed it, but most of all, I hope you left feeling like you're better informed that you are aware of epilepsy and that you know how to help someone in need. There are all beautiful ladies that you've seen. Please visit their channels, show them some love by thumbing up their video and also by leaving a comment. And if you've not subscribed to any of our channels, please do so. We would love to have you on board with us. Again, I'm Julia from Accessorize Your Life and I thank you for tuning in. So long.